We've got another email question from one of my subscribers, and this email comes from someone that does not want to be named, but their email reads, this is what their email reads. Keith, can you give me some insight into selling your soul like the celebrities do in Hollywood? How can you sell your soul when God is the one that owns your soul? Is that right? Thank you. So thank you for your email. And this is a good question. And you would be correct that it is the Lord who owns every single soul. Ezekiel 18.4 Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Now, personally speaking, I'm not a fan of the phrase, he sold his soul to the devil. And that's simply because every sinner has belonged to the devil from the beginning. And so you'll have people that will look at celebrities and they'll say, oh, they sold their soul for fame and riches. They're going to hell. But the truth is, the only difference between that person saying that and the actual celebrity is that the celebrity is rich and famous. Both are on their way to hell. They just don't know it. Nobody goes to hell because they are rich and nobody goes to heaven because they are poor. That's determined by your relationship with Jesus Christ or lack thereof. But here's an interesting take on this very topic from Paul Watson. See that? But those who want to get rich for the sake of riches, yeah, they fall into temptation. Why? Because they're not looking. What is the will of God? What is the will of God? How can I glorify God? How can I help people? That's not what they're looking at. They're looking at how can I get rich? And that is extremely dangerous and it catches you in a snare and leads to many foolish and harmful desires. Have you heard people say he sold his soul for he sold his soul to the devil for that? Well, that's pretty much the case. There have been people who, for the sake of getting wealthy, have sold their bodies, have sold their souls, have sold their convictions, have sold their families, have sold their religion, their relationship with God. They've sold everything to get rich. And there's nothing more foolish, nothing more foolish. But again, you know, those of us who have been missionaries and work in missions, do you know what we realize? If it wasn't for very hardworking and prosperous people, the mission work would be greatly harmed. No, they live in house. They live in nice houses. They don't live in tents in the bush. But if it wasn't for them, the guys going to the bush would never make it there. Do you see that? So young person, look, don't. Don't judge just like someone that's just blind and foolish. The, the, the judge of a man's life is not that he's poor, it's not that he's rich, it's that he has pursued the will of God for his life, studied the scriptures, conformed his life to the scriptures, and then let God take care of the rest.